What's up, guys? Today, I want to introduce you to somebody who's been very profound in my life. This guy has helped me in so many ways just really get through a lot of the, the walls and boundaries and internal conflict that was stopping me from getting my business off the ground and moving forward in areas of my life. Now, you can you know, read any book or watch videos on methods of how to expand a business, how to get it off the ground, but the guy I'm talking to today, he it helps with dissolving internal conflict especially, like I said, he, he did in my life. I, I gotta introduce you to him. He's a certified master, personal mastery coach. So without any further ado, what's going on, Rob? Hey, how's it going, Keith? Thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. like that as well, and that's why you're dealing with all that conflict. So what he part is saying right now can directly increase your business and your profit and everything, because it has everything to do with it. Absolutely. So. Clients who have good strong reputations mm -hmm. tend to have good strong second stage consciousness because mm -hmm. they're reaching compromises that people win together some businesses may do great work because they're focused on I have to be great yeah but their relationships will break down because the communication isn't there like you said throw I don't know the language I'm sorry but pins or whatever down and let's say the client notices that they have just enough savvy to notice that that's a breakdown yeah. Their feet cheated, shaved, skimmed, like you didn't, you know, they didn't know you were lowering their price to use less resources. Because <laughs> that really wasn't the case. You were keeping the price the same. I did that in the beginning. Of I really did that. And I'm not ashamed of myself for doing it. You know, I, no. I, I learned from that. It's not that. right or wrong, or good or bad. It's relative. I, I'm so fired up when I talk to Rob and you see me <laughs> smile, it's because the language that he uses is like, whew, it's right there. I've never heard anybody else talk like that. So. <laughs> well, it's important to be clear because in clarity comes resourcefulness or awareness. And if you're, you know, anxious, mm -hmm. then your resourcefulness just goes down, nothing. down to a strategy, which isn't calibrated to the moment. It's calibrated to your fears and insecurities and belief systems. So third stage isn't for everybody because it feels very vulnerable to give just keep giving just keep giving but what happens is you realize people notice whoa what a great person or what a great gift that was to me in those moments or during that time or whatever and so now they want to give back and so you when you give from a third stage perspective at first most people think you're just first stage like them they can't see your intention behind it they start arguing with you about something you're doing to help them you know so that's kind of funny you can get some humor out of it you don't judge them with it but you just feel charmed you know ah this is perfect moment for me to be here and help this person receive something larger than they understand as you continue to do that you create more and more room to receive from the world you're giving 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 and the, and the world starts showing up it starts giving because it rewards that. Think of you know your hero movies or whatever, the guys that risk their lives to make sure that the women and children are safe or can continue to thrive and feel love and share love amongst themselves. And so these are, those are massive third stage um, gestures, especially like um, King Leonidas from 300 was a total third stager. He had no concern for himself. He was only concerned for what Greece stood for, you know, liberty and freedom and philosophy and, you know, like those were so much more important than tyrants. In fact, he even said, these guys show up, you know, full of vigor because they chose to. Your guys are slaves. They're afraid of the whip. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yes. And so that was their first stage fear as opposed to their third stage zeal, you know, or vigilance See, for... Get to the point where you don't care about how you feel and you don't care about that you're being, you know, marred and cut because the purpose and the intention is so strong and you're so connected to That's your That's our core. gift. That's the masculine gift is to see down the line and when the challenges and explosions are coming up, you know, you notice them and you're among them, but you are not them and so you navigate them and and you don't have to think about it it comes to you Boom. yeah because you're present you're aware you're showing up resourceful if you got to think about it like if I was a black belt I'm teaching you about how to be a black belt and how to defend a roundhouse kick 
if here comes my tennis shoe at your face and you're thinking, okay, that's a roundhouse. Uh, I've got three ways to battle that and by then you're eating tread, right? Yeah. But if you're aware and you're just present, you know, you don't have to think about it. It just happens because oh. you're in response to what the moment is requiring of you. So that third stage way of being really is a reclaim of your core consciousness. Uh, that's what makes it valuable. It's not um, in being a sucker given all the time because your consciousness will tell you this person is unable to receive at this moment or this isn't a teaching moment. This is a moment for them to discover their breakdown or you'll realize that you're not assigned to this person. None of that is good or bad or right or wrong. It's all relative. Once you get to that point, you're capable of understanding what fourth stage is. And fourth stage is when you can choose uh, feminine or masculine moment by moment because that's what the moment requires. These are practices that you go through during your lifetime. And like I said, most people aren't very interested above second stage outcomes, predictability, safety, function. They've been through so much chaos, so much disappointment, letdown, hurt, frustration, right? Anger, um, that if things could just be functional and fair, that would be a miracle. That would be, you know, paradise on earth. But that's an illusion because we're capable of so much more than fair and safe and functional. You know, we can be free, we can be love, we can be both. You're touching on so much stuff. Uh, the name of my website is egoedge.com, E-G-O-E-D-G-E.com, -E -E all one word. Uh, and so I would love to be able to answer some questions or help them find ways to improve their awareness or mm -hmm. their presence so that their businesses have a better chance of thriving without them getting themselves in the way and mistakenly blaming the wrong things. Oh, definitely. Yeah. So go, to, go to the website, E-G-O-E-D-G-E, -E, egoedge.com, and it's the contact, contact information. You can send Rob an email because if you're going through something that's really blocking you and it's in this type of space, Definitely. This is the guy who, you know, helped me navigate through all this. I don't know, you know, where I'd be in this area without his, you know, personal self-mastery coaching. So, yeah. Awesome. Thanks for having me, Keith. I appreciate Thank you. it. Good luck with everything. Yes, sir. Good luck with everybody out there and things that they face. And I'd like to see everybody thrive. Definitely. Why shouldn't we?